The lining of our gut from our mouth down to our anus is the same surface area as a tennis court inside of us. Mm. That big. That's unbelievable. Yeah. Yep. That surface area is only one cell thick mm -hmm. instead of really thick. And those cells, so everything we swallow, all the bacteria in us, all the foods in us, are only one cell away from us. Mm -hmm. And those cells, because they're so important, are held together with what are called tight junctions. A professor of pediatric gastroenterology at the University of Maryland, who is now at Harvard, Alessio Fasano from Naples, was curious how in the world gluten, which happens to be a lectin, could be associated with the extreme form of leaky gut called celiac disease. Mm -hmm. And he worked out the mechanism where if these plant particles can get to the wall of the gut, they'll attach and they will make a compound and there won't be a test um, called zonulin. Zonulin attaches to another receptor and it breaks the tight junction. So now there's a gap between mm -hmm. the wall of the gut and us. And so, and so that's intestinal permeability or leaky gut. Leaky gut's easier to remember. So what? Uh, well, now bacteria can yep. get through the wall of the gut. Food particles can get through the wall of the gut. And other interesting pieces of bacteria. Now the problem is 80% of all of our white blood cells, our immune system, line the gut wall. 80%. 80% are sitting right in they're our gut. Right, they're, right, they're right there. Okay. Why? Because that's the place mischief can come through. Mm -hmm. That's our border. And so that's where we concentrate our defense forces. And what my and others have shown is that once that activation occurs, a chain of events occurs through what's called molecular mimicry that we begin to attack other proteins in our body mm -hmm. that resemble the things that are coming across. And that's where autoimmune disease comes from. And what Hippocrates didn't know, and I submit in Gut Check, that all he knew all disease came from the gut. What he didn't know is that all disease comes from leaky gut. Mm -hmm. Now, the good news is all disease can be reversed when you seal your leaky gut. And that's what I've been teaching patients for over 20 years, how to do it. And so almost think about the ends of the spectrum, right? There is a perfectly healthy gut that is 100% sealed. Yep. Is it that when you have 10% and maybe 10% uh, deterioration, that is not leaky gut? Maybe that's the beginning of it. Is it not until you get to 50%? Like, where is the, the spectrum here? How, how damaged should I think my gut is once you've actually waved the, the white flag and said, hey, this is pretty darn bad. Well, I can tell you, like I talk about in the book, that 100% of people with an autoimmune disease mm -hmm. have leaky gut, um, bad leaky gut. 100% hmm. of people with coronary artery disease have leaky gut. 100% of people with... with uh, dementia or brain fog or any processing problem in their brain have leaky gut. 100% hmm. of people with diabetes have leaky gut. It's that prevalent. Is it as strong to say that the reason you have a lot of those diseases is because you have leaky gut, leaky gut or is that just more a symptom? Nope. It is the cause. That's a pretty strong statement. It is the cause. Hippocrates was right. 